Stetson Bennett. Greatest college football uh, CFL player of all time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? The way y'all talking, the way y'all talking, the way y'all talking, he's gonna be playing in the Canadian League. You know, you only think he's gonna go to the NFL. No, I think I think he's gonna be. Um, he could be. Um, you, that, that's college football, basketball. I mean, college. I mean. See, see how confusing it is? Yeah, it's confusing. <laughs> look this confusing. is what CF, man. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Uh, um, I don't know. Go ahead, Dale. Go ahead. No, he's not the greatest college football player of all time. And okay. I'm not coming from a hate standpoint. One, I mean, you can expect a 26 year old baller on, on a, um, going against what a couple, you know, some guys that's a lot younger than him. Um, you should expect that a lot of you know, wiser decisions, a lot of choices have been made from him. Um, is he ready for the pro level? I mean, time to tell. I mean, like I said, you know, you got guys like Brock Purdy balling for the San Francisco 49ers. So, I mean, anything can happen in the NFL, especially nowadays. Um, but as far as him being the greatest college football player of all time, no, I don't think so at all. And that's not coming from a hate standpoint. So who is the co- the greatest college football of all time? It's hard to judge that, bro. Um, you know well, what I'm let saying? Me, well, let's say top five. Well, top uh, well Bo Jackson, yeah. it's arguably the stint he did in Auburn is probably the, the best that I've seen in the modern era that, that's kind of been, you know. But what about Barry Sanders? For Barry where he did too. Yeah. Like, yeah, Barry was too. And just, people forget about – um. You know what, uh, Ron Dane, uh, you know with what? Wisconsin. Let, let's 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 strike this conversation. Quarterback. Let's mm. just do the best quarterback. Is he the best? Quarterback? In the college of all time. College. Yeah, yeah. Because that's and, I forgot. You know what? I was thinking you, Barry Sanders. Yeah, that's the Bo Jackson. Yeah, we can't do that. But what about best quarterback? Quarterback. Still yeah. no. Matt Liner for USC was pretty good. Yeah, but he didn't pan out at all. I mean, that, we see you talking. We t- we talking college football. Okay, right? all right, just college football. Matt Liner. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What, about, what about Vince Young? Yeah, well, Vince he Young. had a good little year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, then you got Cam Newton had a pretty good year with Ann, uh, Ann Arbor. Yeah, but he was more of a mobile. Yeah. He was more of a run. He was run oh, heavy. I'm just saying, when you compare Stenson to another collegiate quarterback. Well, pull up Stenson's stats. I, all right. Because he's not better than Joe Burrow. See that that would be mine. Joe I was gonna, I was gonna say Joe Burrow. I would yeah, say I mean, Joe greatest. Burrow was good. Trevor Lawrence was hell. Deshaun Watson was nasty. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot of hell, uh, great um, college quarterbacks. What's the name? Uh, Tosh is that Tosh Boy? Was it Tosh Boy at Clemson? Damn, who was it at Clemson? Well, he wasn't like that. But Deshaun Watson was nasty. So you want the this this year stats or this all overall? I mean, th- this, this year is his best right year, though. So this will give you his overall. That. All right. There we see, go. overall, see, it, it's, it's, it's mid. Yeah. Look at that. Well, it's mid. well, well, you had to take out 2019 and 2020 because he wasn't the starter. And he got benched. In those. But he wasn't the tw- starter in, in 2019 or 2020. Well, 21, he's st- it's still mid. Still mid? 29 yeah. touchdowns with seven interceptions? But uh, 2000, bro, it's the 2,800 yards. Yeah, but, but, yeah, but Georgia was a running team that season last year. That's all we did was ran. We're talking about the greatest QB in college football history. And you want to compare those numbers to that. Let's be honest, bro. Yeah, well, okay, pull up, pull up Joe Borrow. I'm just telling you, 2021, there was a, you got to pull it up, like, as far as, you know, college, collegiate. Yeah, yeah. First yeah, thing I, to come up with Cincinnati. Okay, I got you. All right, yep, there it is. Let me share the screen. I mean, I'll zoom in because I know it's kind of small. There we go. Zoom in. Hell, one damn time, hell. Sam Bradford, hell, he was that was he, he was, was excellent. <laughs> he was nasty. Aaron Murray, Aaron Murray, I forgot Colt McCoy. 
Can y'all see that? Let me zoom in. Yeah, zoom in a little bit more. Man, Joe Burrow threw five thousand. Man, it's done, bro. He threw five thousand in the in the twenty twenty two season, and he he threw sixty touchdown and sixty. Yeah, but it was they were. Are you serious? Yeah, I was. They were a spread. I was gonna take Joe. They were spread. I was gonna take Joe. No, nah, bro. I was gonna take Joe, bro. They were a spread offense. You might well go ahead and remove that that whole that whole that whole offense was like that. They were they were pass heavy. So why 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 are we making this? We we can, you the the topic right now is Stetson Bennett is a, the the best collegiate quarterback of all time, and I say hell no, not compared to those stats right there. Well, I'm not mm-hmm. saying he is, but you're you like just downplaying the kid. I'm not saying that he is. I, I just don't think it's a topic for him. He was a game. He was a game manager at best. It went, it went on with Georgia. Okay, let me ask you this: After watching that game, did it look like he game managed? Or, did, or I mean, did bro, he y'all was playing with them. Y'all was playing with the Horn Frogs. <laughs> <laughs> we just say TCU. No <laughs> Horn Frogs. That's what they are. You know what I'm saying? They 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 damn sure play like a Horn Frog. You know what I'm saying? On, on, on Monday, so I'm gonna call them what they are. Oh, oh Frog. Okay. All right. All right. What about Tennessee? Huh? How about when he played against Tennessee? Oh, he played pretty good with Tennessee. Oregon. He played against bro. You I'm you, just asking you, the I'm just asking a question, bro. That's all I'm asking. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh. Comparing his stats to Joe Burrow's stats, especially at the age limit that he is, at that age, Joe Burrow was, I think he was only like 20 or 21 at, at if that if, if he was that. How long has Joe Burrow been in the league? What's his uh, two Hold years? Hold on. Let me uh, let Three me show years. y'all. Let me show y'all Matt Liner's stats. Ooh, Matt Liner was nice. Oh, yeah, oh I know Liner. Matt Liner was nice. I remember <laughs> hey, him. Hey, USC was dangerous. Some, yeah. some boys look, was look at them dangerous. stats. Them, them, hey, yeah. Matt yeah. Liner is nasty. No, man. Matt Liner was truth. Yeah, Matt yeah. Liner is the truth, man. Jeez, look Matt at Liner. Bro, look at his. He averaged one about one fifty pa- pass or one fifty nine passer rating. That's that that that's no, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, completion yeah. rate. My bad. Completion, completion rate. rate. Mm-hmm. But look at the look at his completions. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand, bro. Like when we talk about greatest co- collegiate, bring up Sam Bradford. Yeah, I, I want. Oh say yeah, that. Sam Bradford was nasty. That's what I, I give you that. Hell, uh, what's what's the guy used to play for the uh, Indianapolis Colts before he retired? What's his name? He retired because he, he just fell. He, he oh, wasn't in love. Andrew Luck. We forgot Andrew about Luck. him. He was nasty at Stanford. I, I look, I'm not saying that that Stetson Bennett is the greatest quarterback of time. Look, it's just it's a good storyteller. I mean, that's one reason why they're saying it. Look at that. Four thousand yards with fifty touchdowns and eight interceptions. That is nasty. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. You know what? Looking at that, I, he won't even be in my top ten. No, he's not even <laughs> in the top ten. He's not even yeah. in the top twenty. Yeah, because I forgot about. Yeah, I forgot about Matt Lyon. I really forgot about him. Wow, man, it's been a lot of great. College and collegiate QBs, believe it or not. Um, what's the guy that went um after Peyton Manning in the draft? Ryan Leaf, he had a great mm. collegiate um, yeah, um, era. There's Andrew Luck, that's Russian. Oh, that's, that's Russian, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. yeah. 162. Ready. Yeah. 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 I think he was just great for that team. He's great for the Bulldogs. <laughs> the the man, the man had the man had a lot of weapons around him. Yeah, like, I mean it's eight a Donnie yeah. Mitchell, Brock Bowers, Donnell Washington, the running backs is good, the whole offensive line. All they needed him to do was play within the system. That's it. So we can all agree we saying hell no, right? Yeah, I agree. Uh, I'm not gonna say hell no, but no, he's not up there with the, the top Homer. echelon. That's that Homer. That's that Homer swag. What? I mean, what? No, no, because <laughs> no, nah, you you know how, I, man. If anybody knows, I am not the greatest Stetson Bennett fan. I just got to give it to him. I mean, he played with it. He didn't make no mistakes in the game. And he did his. He did his part. Now, is he like the greatest of all time? No. I mean, he'll probably go down as greatest of all time at Georgia just because of the yards he put up because he passed Aaron Murray's. But you know. He I think he'll be. A, go ahead. No, I, I think he'll be a productive uh, NFL quarterback, though. I do think he'll be. That. He'll, he'll be a good backup. If I mean, or practice squad, he might make the practice squad. I, I'm gonna say starter. I, I think he'll be a good starter. 
At what what team? Pick, pick your Panthers. You could do no. pick your pick your pick your point. Hell, he can even go to the Falcons. He can go there. He's well, not he, out there. Well, let, let, I mean, he could go there. I, like I mean, it, I man, I I think I don't know if he's NFL ready. Like 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 they said, Mac Jones was, which he. I, I, I hope we move on from him. Um, but um, but I I think he would be a I think he would be a, a great quarterback or not great a good quarterback with the right system. Like he's in now. All right. So what round do you see him going? Oh, four for fifth. Six. They're gonna. It's a steal. They're gonna get him on a steal. It's a six yeah. round. He's a six seven round pick. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's just it's just oh, too man. many quarterbacks. It's too many quarterbacks coming out. It's you got guess, way too many options that's coming out this year that they can pick from, and we're just not talking about all the other top ones that's coming out. So I guess with me, I guess the way I would look at you know the intangibles. So. Am I going to go with somebody with potential? Or I'm going to go with somebody with a proven winner, regardless of the system. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Matt Lina was a proven winner. I know. Okay. Ken I know. Dorsey was a proven Hell, winner. Sam Bradford. Was okay. Sam Bradford was a proven <laughs> winner. <Aaron> Burr, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. But hold on. But, but, <laughs> okay. But the last, who was the real true number one pick that's been really successful? Number one pick? Yeah. Like in the first two three round, who's the la- who or first round? Who was the number okay. one pick? Because Andrew- Jackson has been successful. He was he went. Oh, okay, and- let, me, let, me, let me ask you this: yeah. What do you define successful? Are we talking playoffs and and and, and, we ain't and, and hardware? Be like I, I don't, MVP and stuff I don't like even that. have to do. I, you know what? I, I what I'm thinking like I'm not setting the bar too high for Ben. I'm just talking about this. Uh, he could come onto a team and win games. I like, I don't know about the playoffs because there's so much more than a quarterback that can win the game. But so I what about he- Joe Burrow? Yeah, Joe Burrow's up there for sure. Joe, Joe Burrow is kind of the really one that's been standing out the lot. Yeah, out of he all, really all has. The nah, he has. Yeah, I, yeah, that's my guy. I like Joe Cool. Well, Joe, Joe went to the Super Bowl. That's yeah, the only I, thing that's why it's sticking out. But he ain't win no MVP yet. Man, he should be comeback player of the year the way he's been balling this year. Comeback sure. player. Yeah, I mean, ain't no reason to come back for it. He went to the Super Bowl prior year. No, he was. They were the big. The, they had the Bengals. No, 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 no. I'm talking about this year where the Bengals they were struggling and they came the last eight to nine games they've been on a tear. Well, well comeback player of the year is a player that's that's actually was known from the past. And yeah. actually we, you know what I mean? Yeah, I just think everybody just forgot who he is. That's all. But you know, I, I don't yeah. think they forgot about man. I, they still talk about Joe Burrow. Yeah, but just not not. I think the Bengals are going to be, even though they went to the Super Bowls last year, but they are kind of the under the radar team again. I won't be surprised again. that the Ravens beat them this weekend, though. Yeah, I won't. I won't be either. I won't be either. But, um, but no, I, I think Stetson Bennett can get on the team, and he just had to do the same, bro. He's 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 battle tested. All right, let me thing. tell you something. He, battle, right. he, he has the mindset. He won't let me give tell you up. Something. The only thing I'm winning intangible. I can see him getting onto a team, but somebody's going to have to. Really believe in him, and he's going to fight. It's not hey, going to be. Actually, hey, hold on, Jeff. Jeff. Hey, Bobby. You know what you sound like? You sound like all the fans that were saying the same thing about TCU. They're they're proven fighters. They won't quit. They will come out here and fight. They got the heart. But does he have the the measurements? Does he have the techniques? Wait a minute. The NFL is just different. Honestly, yeah. But true enough. This is going to get to my point. It's going to take a good coordinator to actually coach him and get him through. For example, um, um, Shanahan system over there in 49ers. We we got a guy that was selected in the seventh round has actually been carrying the 49ers for the past few games. So yeah, but really Brock Purdy is Brock, but Brock Purdy did a lot at, uh, at Iowa State. So I mean, that's, I mean, Brock Purdy but, did his thing. But but, but this is what ben this is, is what I'm saying though. But ben Brock, is winning. But Ben is winning in Georgia. So what's the, I mean, I, he's well, winning championships. Well, see, you understand collegiate in the NFL is a lot different. I know. I'm just – yeah, go ahead, Just Finish your point. Go ahead. I know you So the ahead. point I'm trying to make is that um, you could take a Stetson Bennett and actually groom him, you know what I'm saying, possibly be, you know, start off like a Russell Wilson type in the beginning and, uh, you know, game manage and go go from, from there. But I, th- I think if he gets the, with the right coaches and the right coaching staff, I think he could be successful. And one, one more thing I want to say, too. The whole game managing, and I think Jeff, you're you're, you're coining the term bus driving. Bus it's not. Driver. <laughs> it's just it, it's gotten a really really bad rap. But it's it, I'm, I'm telling you, if you if I was a coach, I wouldn't mind 
a game manager or a bus ride. You don't have to be flashy and fly off. If you make the right decisions, okay, you're not throwing picks. Let me, let me clarify it, this for you guys. But I know, I know, I'm just saying, but it, but not just you. I'm just saying, but it gets a bad rap because the, the, a part of a quarterback's job is to protect the ball, right? True. So I mean, he's doing his job. So I mean, and there are other, there's what? How many? What? Fifty two other men on the field? Fifty one other men on the field? Uh, or not? That's not that many. But it's uh, it's, um, it's more than too many. <laughs> Uh, but there's other men on the field that have to back you up too. So I'm, I'm just ten. There we go. There's only yeah. eleven allowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I said fifty. I think about a whole damn football team on the field. Uh, but uh, I'm just saying. I just think he could. With it's nothing right wrong with team. starting off being a bus driver and, and working your way up because Wilson didn't yeah. start. Russell started off like that. You know, Russell in the beginning yeah. was a, a high was a was a bus driver. Let me ask you this, Jeff. Does Stetson play within the system, or do you think he just drives the bus? Mm. Last year he drove the bus. Okay, I give you that, but this year he played within the system because they allowed him to change plays at the at the line of scrimmage. They allowed him to change plays at the line of scrimmage. They allowed him to move his 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 back of the block. They allowed him to change. They allowed him I, to call. I'm gonna tell you this blocks. before. I don't want to give a, a huge critique on Stetson Bennett being in, tra- translating to the NFL. Cause I'm a, I'm a put it this way I don't want to give him that kind of pressure right now right then and there but I can tell you this I, if he gets with the the right coordinators he can be successful. Well, I mean, he would need a coordinator like like the coordinator that we got now, Todd Munkin. But see, Todd Munkin comes from the NFL. Well, I yeah. see. See, I didn't even know. So, yes, yeah. I Todd, Mon- Todd Munkin. You know, he was in. He was a, uh, the offense coordinator for um, Tampa Bay when they had. Uh, um, What's the guy with the always chewing up his fingers? Oh, damn, forget his name. Oh, um, um, James Winston. James Winston. Yeah. And James Winston was... respectfully threw 30 th- touchdowns. I know. So, yeah, he did. What? So, <laughs> but when, but when that, and 30 inceptions. But he, um, hey, hey, he still threw 30 touchdowns. <laughs> he, well, he's going 30 for 30. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, that's even more, man, that's even more of a point. I, I think he could be a, I mean, he, he has that. That he has that toolage from an ex NFL offensive coordinator. I mean, at this point, it's up to sense of business. I'm not saying he's a plug and play player, but I think, you know, the NFL, we have forgotten how to develop. Well, not we, because I'm not in the NFL, but we as fans kind of forget the develop process because we want a ready made product. And some people just don't work that way. And I think Stenson, that's, he's that, he's going to need some time. Of course. Um, and that's the thing. I think that he's definitely is a low draft to close to undrafted product. So let me ask you this. Um, cause I know we'll do it, but if I just say we had to do a draft pick, what football team do you see that can actually pick him up either as a starter or as a backup or, you know, you know, somebody that you can work with. Is there a team that you can see right now that would like to draft him? Let's just say in the fourth round, fourth, fifth round pick, what team you can really see him, pick him up as a quarterback as a potential groom to get ready to take the ham or then your you know in your eyes maybe Bobby as a starter. Um man because you know I the some of these positions don't have head coaches yet but um I look the Falcons are really to me attractive. Um I would also say the Panthers but I just don't know who the head coach is they don't even have a starting quarterback right now because Sam Donald I hate that because if they were to get him, they would he would battle and he might take the starting job because who is going to be the starting quarterback there? <laughs> you don't think he'll beat Sam Donald? Oh, I think anybody would. I think anybody would beat Sam Donald. Sam, <laughs> Sam Donald's a pretty good quarterback. Man. man, you got Baker to come there, take your job, then then PJ Walker come on and all. I man, Sam just he needs a is we're good. We've seen enough. We 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 first of all, coaching wasn't in place. That's true. I'll give you that. Matt Rule, yeah. he definitely robbed and he stole a lot of but, money. I'm not gonna knock him man. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna knock him down like right now. Even though he's seen ghosts as we in the Jets, but um and that was due to Bill that Bill Belichick got him started seeing the ghosts. He ain't been, able, he ain't been the same since. He ain't been the same since. But no, nah, oh, man. But uh, I those are the two teams that stick out to me. Um is there another team I'm missing, Jeff? Who who, who you think? Well, I was gonna say um Honestly, he can easily come on a team as a backup. Um, 
give or take the Jets um, can pick him up easily and groom him. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they, their quarterback situation is, is iffy right now. I mean, even though Mike White looked like the clear-cut starter, he's actually been the best one there. Yeah. But given to the injury, his injury is pretty significant. Um, it just depends on how he heals from that. So, um, like, injuries like Mike White and uh, Stafford, it's a possibility they might not even play anymore, man. You know what I would like to see him with? Um, I would like to see him with the Vikings. I like to see him with the Vikings. Behind that's Kirk Cousins. Cousins. That's, that's behind, behind no behind Kirk Cousins. Yeah, yeah, behind Kirk, Kirk, behind Kirk Cousins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. not start. But, but, but yeah, behind, but, yeah, behind but Kirk like, Cousins. Like but Kirk, though. No. Look, he has his moment. I, mean, I, I can, I can see Patrick Mahomes. See, no, because he'll never get a chance to start with Patrick Mahomes. I, I'm talking about somebody that I think Kirk is more on his way out than you know staying. He's Shit, probably Green Bay. Good. I was gonna say Green Bay too. Because Aaron is, is is good as going after this year. I was thinking but, about Green Bay, but the only problem with Green Bay. Yeah, see, I don't I know, Jordan I'm Love. I'm He's what I mean is is coming behind a player, yeah, learning the system, learning how to how film works, learning how to study works, you know, and getting the, the, the X and those down to learn how to read defenses yeah, and I'm, going from there. I, I like I like the Vikings. I would say the Vikings. Because yeah. if he goes to the Falcons, it'd be ready made. If he goes to the Panthers, it's just we don't know. I, 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 I'm he doesn't a, need to go into the situation where he's no, he going to be starter. Yeah. I agree with that. I'm just saying he can be in the future, but I agree with both of you guys. Yeah, but again, you got guys like Gardner Minshew, Brock Purdy. They came out in a late round draft pick and they starting. Yeah, that, that's all I'm saying. Successful. That's all I'm saying. It can happen yeah. for him. It can happen. Well, Gardner Minshew hasn't been successful. He's lost two games. Wait, wait, wait. He, he's won a game. He's lost two games. Okay. Yeah, he lost two but, I mean, he still was a starter. He started for us, and he started for the Eagles a few times. No, we're okay. All right. Well, I'm just wanna... saying. I'm saying a quarterback given an opportunity to come in and show what he got. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I agree. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see how Stetson work out. You know, congratulations to him. Ain't too many quarterbacks can say they won back to back. None from Florida can. Um, <laughs>